Welcome to this edition of The Roadie Reporter. I'll be your host for the segment, Mark Zakaria. In any discussion of the fantasies and foibles of Ocean State government, the name of the Speaker of the House is bound to come up. Rightly or wrongly, the Speaker's office is hard-coded in our state constitution as the most powerful political position of them all. So the occupant of that office is always a cross between a lightning rod that attracts high voltage criticism and an absolute despot who rewards allies and crushes competitors. Think Ming the Merciless in the old Flash Gordon serials. Current speaker, Nick Mattiello, is the latest example of the incumbent in that complex position. Most of what he does to move legislation forward or kill it in committee seems to be done based on self-serving motivation. Well, that may be a mischaracterization, but most of what the speaker does to direct and manage the legislature is also done behind closed doors. So we don't really know. When we do get hard data points on his performance, they do seem to fit that self-serving narrative. For instance, Mr. Mattiello's 2016 campaign manager, Jeff Britt, is currently under indictment for felony money laundering based on his performance in that executive position. Mr. Britt's defense team claims that their client was just following orders. The Speaker's campaign spokesperson, Patty Doyle, insisted at the time that her boss knew nothing of his re-elect committee's efforts to co-opt his GOP challenger's primary opponent for a negative mailing. To your observant roadie reporter, this all looks like sausage making of the first magnitude. I can't wait to see how the courts sort it all out. Two of the witnesses to be called by the Brit defense team are husband and wife political operatives Ed Contunio and Teresa Graham. They were consultants to the 2016 Mattiello contest that's in question in this criminal case. As it happens, the duo has also just been retained again for the Speaker's 2020 re-elect team against challenger Barbara Ann Fenton Fung. No doubt a complete coincidence, much like the random fact that the couple's son holds a $75,000 per year job in the State House as Nick Mattiello's aide. Isn't that remarkable? Hey, get over it. This stuff just happens sometimes, huh? For her part, Ms. Fenton Fung is gamely trying to remind voters in the 15th Rep District that their incumbent's staff has repeatedly been found to have had their hands in the public cookie jar. Remember Frank Montanaro's mistaken use of taxpayer money to fund his son's college tuition? <laughs> we will learn on election night just how successful she has been. There is no question, however, that Nick Mattiello is the latest in a long line of speakers who have evolved to become the tarnished hood ornament on the barely operating limousine of our state legislature. Folks, when are we going to get tired of this tune and do something about it? This election? If not, will there even be a next election?